Just days away from losing her home, a 74-year-old found a way to save it. Gladys Solomon began selling t-shirts with a powerful saying she wrote on them. Today, she's proud to say her loan modification came through and the home is hers. Fox 43's Leah Kierstein sat down with her. She thanked everyone who helped her. My love for you is stronger than anything your heart desires. 74-year-old Gladys Solomon says the words printed on her t-shirts came to her during her darkest times. Those words just came like an angel. Due to falling behind on her mortgage, she was losing the home she had lived in for 20 years. She raised two of her grandchildren there. I'm not anxious to run off someplace and don't know where I'm going and I'm accustomed to my house. She did not want to hand out after about six months between selling her shirts, getting a loan modification and contributions. Her home was saved from foreclosure. Everyone was very generous, big hearted angels. An anonymous donor even gave her $5,000. I just want to thank them from the bottom of my heart and know that God will always bless them or her, whomever. Gladys has received many letters of encouragement and some thanking her for the words that she put on these t-shirts that she's continuing to sell. Some said to me, you did something selling my t-shirts. I did. She even sells them in New York when she visits her husband who is in a nursing home. The money she makes will go toward her new lower mortgage. We did it. With the help of God, we did it. In Lancaster, Leah Kirstein, Fox 43, WPMT. Oh, good for her for being wow, so persistent. Yes, what a great idea to help herself like that. So, and to all the people that helped her as well. Let's take a look. That's really great. Let's take a look at the weather headlines. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Gladys Solomon's home. I don't want to be in anyone else's house. It may not be hers much longer. My home is in foreclosure. I've sat and I worry months trying to figure out how I'm going to keep the home. Solomon retired in 2007 and has to pay for her husband's nursing home care in New York. She's also